I'm Marilyn Curtin Phillips, a math attack of Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm showing you today how to solve a tangent ratio. Here's our right triangle, and here we call the two legs, the two sides that make up the 90 degree angle, three and four for side A, that's one leg, and the other leg is side BC. So we only use those two for tangent. Tangent is opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So for angle B, I'm starting with angle B here, the opposite leg is 3. So 3 over, and the adjacent leg is 4 because it is part of that angle. So that is the adjacent leg. So 3, 4. That gives me the decimal value of it, 0.75 when I convert that. But I want the actual measure of that angle. So I'm going to use my calculator here and put in second or shift, depending on your calculator, I'm using the inverse key. Second, tan, and it will show on my calculator as tan with the inverse sign. Then put in my fraction, 3 divided by 4, and that gives me my degree of my angle. In this case, I'm rounded to the nearest whole number, which we call rounded to the nearest degree. So this is 36.8. Because of the 8, I'm rounding this up to 37. So angle B is a 37 degree angle. To get my remaining angle, the other acute angle, the two here would total 90 degrees. I could either say 90 minus 37 degrees, which would give me for angle A as a 43 degree angle. But again, I can continue and use my trig ratio as I did the first time here for angle B. So I'm going to do this with angle A using my trig ratio tan. So tan, opposite over adjacent. For this, for angle A, this time the opposite leg is now side BC, which is 4 here. So for angle B, for angle A, it is 4 over 3. Again, using my in inverse key because I want the degree of that angle. Second, tan, 4 divided by 3. That gives me a decimal value, degree angle, 53.1. And I'm rounding this to the nearest degree or nearest whole number. Because of this 1, I'm going to leave it as 53. So this, again, the second method to find for finding angle A, once I have my angle B, which is 37 degrees, the two angles together would total 90 degrees. So angle A could, uh, would also be 90 minus 37, which would give us 53 degrees. Using our trig ratio, tan, tan, angle A, 4 over 3, using my calculator it, with the inverse key, 4 divided by 3, 53 rounded to the nearest whole number, 53 degrees. So for this triangle, my right triangle using my tan ratio, that is angle B is 37 degrees and angle A, 53 degrees. And I'm Marilyn Curtin Phillips, Math Attack of Atlanta, Georgia.